Hi Briars! The discovery of Homina Lady has shaken up more than just the hominin tree with its fair share of controversies and mind-blowing implications. Here's five facts about this amazing discovery made right here in our backyard. To recruit the perfect team to excavate the sites at the Rising Star Cave in Marupeng, Professor Lee Berger of Wits University employed a pretty clever way to find scientists who were experienced cavers and could fit through the narrow entrance at the Dina Lady Chamber where over 1,550 bones lay. He advertised it on Facebook and sure enough, six small women scientists out of 60 applicants made the cut to become Professor Berger's underground astronauts. After making the find in 2013, Berger gathered a large team of scientists and specialists in the field and what they found completely blew their minds. What they found is that Homina Lady had both human-like and primitive features. For instance, some of the features of the body are very similar to modern humans, but with a brain just slightly larger than that of an orange. It's caused some doubt in some experts who have questioned Homina Lady's placement in the genus Homo. That's where we belong, by the way opting that Naledi be a more primitive species of the genus Australopithecus, where Lucy belongs. While the discovery of Homo Naledi has gotten a lot of scientists excited, where exactly it fits in the story of our human evolution is still shrouded in mystery. You see, the bones are very old, but no one knows exactly how old. Not all scientists agree that Homo naledi is a new species, and finding out the exact age of the bones will help us figure out if Homo naledi existed alongside early Homo sapiens, that's us, or whether we descended from it, with both prospects spelling awesome implications for our understanding of human evolution. Barely a week after its discovery, Homo naledi sparked a racial controversy with some prominent politicians rubbishing the discovery, saying that humans are not the descendants of baboons. Well, they're right about one thing, humans didn't evolve from baboons at all. According to the theory of evolution, which is widely accepted as fact by the scientific community, humans evolved from an ancestor which also gave rise to baboons, meaning that they kind of like our evolutionary cousins. And guess what? So are fish and mushrooms and bananas. Homo naledi is really just closely related to us and learning more about it helps us better understand who we are. Professor Lieberger and his team have concluded that due to the difficulty of getting to the chamber where the bones were found and the absence of evidence pointing to other explanations, Homo naledi must have buried their dead. This is a controversial conclusion. Some scientists say there's not enough evidence to say for sure. But if it's true, it would be amazing because the act of burying the dead was thought to be practiced only by our species. Homo sapiens, and in fact, it defined our species, it set us apart from other great apes. With so many human-like features and the possibility of Homo naledi burying their dead, it challenges the way that we can identify ourselves and leaves us asking, what does it really mean to be human? Let us know in the comments what you think makes us human. Follow the links below if you want to know more about the controversy surrounding Homo naledi. And until next time, Cybrise, stay sizzling. Like, share and subscribe to The Cybri Show. Check out cybri.co.za and follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.